Did you know that in India, oral cancer is the first most prevalent cancer in men and the second most prevalent cancer in women? One of the culprits behind this is tobacco. Tobacco is derived from the plant species of the genus Nicotiana, which belongs to the potato family. The leaves of these plants are dried and processed for various purposes. Tobacco is mainly composed of nicotine, which is the most poisonous and addictive factor in it. The other components include tar, metals, hydrogen cyanide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, and lastly, radioactive compounds. Now, there are several types of tobacco products available in the market and we will be discussing them in detail. The first type is the smoke type of tobacco. The most common examples of this include cigarettes and beer. To have a better understanding, let us study the characteristics of each as a comparative study in a tabular form. While BD accounts for 34% of tobacco production in India, cigarettes account for 31% of the total production. The tobacco content in BD is only 0.2 to 0.3 grams, causing less smoke to be produced, while on the other hand, cigarettes produce a large amount of smoke due to the presence of 1 gram of tobacco content in it. Third, based on their composition, BD has 1.7 to 3 mg nicotine and 45 to 50 mg of tar. In the case of cigarettes, 1 to 1.4 mg of nicotine and 19 to 27 mg of tar along with sugar, aromatic and flavoring agents are present. Among the two, BD is considered to be more dangerous, leading to severe adverse effects. Some other examples of smoke types include Chillam, Chutta, Hoka and Hukli. In Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh, 12 in every 1000 women smoke cigarettes with the burnt end in their mouths. This is referred to as reverse smoking. This habit results in the palate's temperature rising up to 58 degrees Celsius, which results in patch formation, which then may undergo malignant transformations. After smoked tobacco, the second type is smokeless tobacco. Again, the two most commonly used forms under this include mava and pan. While mava is primarily composed of areca nut, tobacco, and slate lime, pan, in addition to these three, also contains the four C's that are cardamom, cinnamon, clove, and coconut. While the components of pan are all wrapped up in a betel leaf, the ingredients of mava are wrapped in a cellophane paper. Before consumption, the packet of mava is rubbed vigorously to mix the contents and this mixture is then chewed until it softens, which is then transferred to the mandibular vestibule and is kept there for a prolonged time for flavor. This is a common cause of tobacco pouch keratosis. Kenny, another example of the smokeless type, is very similar to mava, both in composition and use. Other examples of the smokeless type include mishri, snuff, and etc. The third type includes heated tobacco products. Like all other tobacco products, these are inherently toxic and contain carcinogens. These produce aerosols containing nicotine and other toxic chemicals upon activation by heating thus altering the general health conditions. The aerosols are inhaled by users during a process of sucking or smoking involving a device. Lastly, we have electronic cigarettes, also known as e-cigarettes. You would have heard the term vape or vaping, which is synonymous with this type of tobacco. These are battery-operated devices that stimulate smoking by heating a liquid that contains nicotine, heavy metals, and other chemicals. E-cigarettes do not produce smoke, but they do produce aerosol that is inhaled into the lungs. The concept of vapes is relatively new and the long-term health effects are not yet known. To quickly recap, the main component of tobacco is nicotine. Tobacco can be further divided into four types, smoked and smokeless tobacco, heated tobacco products and lastly, e-smoking. We know that the consumption of tobacco can have serious consequences on our general health, but what are the consequences from a dental point of view? Using tobacco products can lead to periodontal diseases, which in turn could lead to mobility of the teeth. It can also be the reason for halitosis and delayed wound healing. Tobacco consumption is also responsible for most of the cases of oral cancer seen today, as stated before. To draw attention to the tobacco epidemic and the prevention of death and diseases it causes, the World Health Organization in 1987 declared May 31st to be celebrated as the World No Tobacco Day every year. In conclusion, there are several types of tobacco products available in the market, but their use is not only harmful to the general well-being of an individual, 
but also to their oral health. As dental professionals, it is our responsibility to educate our patients about the dangers of tobacco use and help them quit it if they are addicted. In the next video, we will discuss how, as dentists, we can help our patients overcome this addiction. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.